Now the Flapspeed Pro continuously monitors and records the parameters to a USB key. The CD output files simply pull out the USB key from the Flapspeed Pro and insert it into your computer. Open the folder and here you see all the different folders with the different times. So if we go to the more recent folder, you see all the different individual files that have the date and also the time of the recording. So if we grab the last one here, then you see the file. The format gives you a header including the, the version of the software, description, username, the handpiece used, the magnetic correction and the flap. Then you have a column that includes the date, another column for the time, the requested intensity and the associated RPM as well as the actual RPM. We can see here that the, reach, the unit starts at zero and then the speed increases to reach steady state. One point is recorded every second. Now if you've generated a saturation curve, the file to look for is a bitmap image. Okay, it's a slightly larger file and if you click on that it gives you the, uh, the bitmap image of the saturation curve. So again the saturation curve is here with your intensity and the time and you've got here all the the information that you input and at the bottom you've got a table including the cumulative time, the measured arc height and the corrected arc height. You can actually include this with your uh, repair order. The Flapspeed Pro comes pre-configured and calibrated. If changes in the setup are required, press the settings button in the main menu. The following selections are possible. Language, either English or French. Arc height units, either in inches or millimeters. Alarm, you have five seconds to reach steady state and then plus or minus 50 on the selected RPM. Default values. This brings back the factory settings. Brightness, to adjust the brightness of the screen. Calibration, if you need to do an adjustment after calibration. Time and date, to change the time and the date. Users, allows the input of data for specific users. And finally, the About button, which gives you the software version and the copyright year.